All right, a busy night on the field hockey pitch, on the soccer pitch. We have got some district action, uh, rather state semis. That's where we are right now. State semis. Let's get right to the highlights. The Auburn Rockets field hockey team coming in a perfect 22-0. Taking on Frontier in the state semis. Second half, scoreless game. Frontier on the attack, and Abby Lucas with a kick save, and the rebound is just wide. Wow, so close. We are still scoreless. Ten seconds left in the game now. Shannon Hines fires just wide, so we're going to overtime. In OT, seven on seven. Auburn attacking Jacqueline Clark. Rob, the rebound. A frontier defender stoning Clark, taking away a goal. Auburn's not done. Shannon Hines, the blister, just wide. Great bids from Auburn. Charge of the Rockets, three on none, but great hustle by Frontiers. Catherine Miner gets back and breaks it up. Now, penalty corner for the Rockets. Clark starting it for Auburn. Shannon Hines, back to Clark. Centers for Kylie Hines. Hines, great move, pulls it to the backhand. The goal, Auburn wins a thriller. One nothing in overtime. Uh, this is the best feeling there is. Like, we've been working years for this, and we finally got here. So I'm really proud of everybody on my team, and I couldn't be happier. It's crazy. We've worked long and hard for this, and it's a, this is our third year here, and it's just crazy for it to be our year. This is our year to take it on, and it's an amazing feeling to be one of the seniors going through this. This is our last time, and it's a fantastic feeling that it's our year for this to happen. It feels amazing. It's undescribable. I, we work long and hard, and it just paid off. It's amazing. All right, so Auburn's on to the state semifinals. Beth Ann Cormier can hang another banner at the barn. The first couple of coaching, they have a lot of them. Now on to girls soccer in state semis. It is Sutton and Munson, Division Four action. Pick this one up in the second half, 2-2 game. Munson the boot, and the Susie's Naomi Falkenberg with the save. Then Megan Maguile, the shot for Munson just over the crossbar. Sutton's Catherine Evangeline bearing in, and Emma Guerin coming out aggressively and breaking it up. Great defense from Sutton. Sophia Elworthy saving a goal, and then it's Taylor Arthod saving a goal as well. Unbelievable defense from the Susies. Chipping in, helping out their keeper. We go to overtime in OT. Sarah Hicks, full volley, robbed by Garan. Down the other end, Munson's. Brianna Murphy on the run. What time is it? Missile time. The wonder strike. The golden goal, and Munson wins 3-2 in overtime. Bromfield and Munson. This is the boys state semis in Division IV. First half scoreless game. Munson's Tyler Eig with a long boot on net, and Austin Franklin is there for the save. Munson on the corner kick. Connor Monahan fires. Franklin, the great save, in tight, good reflexes. Munson with the free kick. Bromfield, John Armstrong wins it in the air and heads it away. Runson's, Munson's Ryan Monahan, bullet on net. Franklin, the save, the rebound, Michael Murphy with the goal, and Munson gets the win. 1 0 is your final. Tim Berry, the former St. Peter Marion star, leading Wheaton against Worcester State tonight. Pick this one up in the first half. Worcester State's Bilal Shakir, former Worcester Tech standout, with the layup, and the Lancers are up by one, 15-14. Worcester State playing some defense. Paul Brooks getting up, member of the SWAT team. Then it's Manny Cabral. Drilling the three for the U. The Lancers trailing by one. Former Holy Name standout, Isaiah Tatum. Taking it to the den, the floater is good. Dante Neal. Creating the turnover, the U on the move. Brooks on the block and calling for it. Old school sky hook from Brooks. Worcester State up by three. Brooks commanding the paint. You've been thunderstruck. And then Worcester State hitting the boards. The shot off the mark. Shakir working hard underneath. Rebound and the putback. Wheaton battling. This one was back and forth for a while. Nice play from Quinton Dale to David Carbonello. Worcester State, though, gets the win. 95-89 is your final. Football is a very emotional sport, and teams feed off the energy in their locker room, on their sideline, 
in their stands. That's certainly the case with the Assumption football team. They have broken home attendance records in consecutive weeks. It's a great atmosphere at the stadium, and Worcester, uh, Assumption rather looking to continue and carry that emotional momentum into their first round NCAA playoff game on Saturday as they host Bowie State. I think it's important to have, our, have the community involvement, not only on campus, but outside in, in, in our community here. We're very proud of, the, of our town. We're very proud of the people that show up here, you know, the high school kids that come over, just the, the you know, local people in the community that show us a lot of support. It means a lot. We've broken our home attendance record now twice this year, twice in the past two weeks. So us to be able to do that and continue to feel that progression, not even progression, but feel that momentum, is something that, you know, I remember when we were in camp, we spoke about the spring momentum into the summer, into the fall, and if we can carry that momentum, well, our, our momentum just keeps building and building and building. And even over these past couple weeks, you know, it's getting better and better and better. So uh, we really, we really need as many people to support us in the community and continue doing that as well as on campus. But we're proud to be here. We're really proud of our accomplishments, and I hope, I hope that the community is as well. All right, so there you go. Assumption Bowie State at noon, high noon on Saturday at Assumption. First round of the NCAA playoffs. It's a great week to be a hound. And, of course, we're going to have highlights of that game, plus all of the state Super Bowls, the semifinal Super Bowls we're in now, the Central Mass, Western Mass Super Bowls, Saturday night, 9 o'clock, highlights of all the high school Super Bowls, highlights of Assumption's NCAA first round game, highlights from Holy Cross and their season finale against Georgetown, all wrapped up right here on Charter TV 3, Saturday night. At nine. How about that assumption or that uh, Auburn field hockey team though? Now 23 and 0. That's impressive stuff. Hard to go undefeated. In Unbelievable. Any yeah. yeah. All right. Good stuff, Kevin. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. For Kevin Shea, I'm Tim McCone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at six.